Welcome back. We're watching out for some rain chances again today and especially tomorrow ahead of our cool down, which is coming on Thursday. So a lot going on with our weather today. I personally can't wait until Thursday. Maybe you're the same way because it will be very pleasant and cool and we get a return to the cool after we've been so warm lately with our highs in the lower 80s. Now storms this week we've been talking about. First of all, we have a few going on outside of our area today and we do have a chance for a few more scattered showers or storms mostly in the afternoon afternoon, but today the rain chance is somewhat slim about 30%. Tomorrow afternoon, some scattered rain and then evening might be the bulk of the rain for some scattered showers and storms. And tomorrow is the day that we're looking for the severe risk. There will be a low end chance for a few isolated strong to severe storms. And when we talk about the slight risk, remember that's level two out of five. I'll show you in a second slight risk and the ingredients or the, the threats would be high winds, possibly some large hail or an isolated tornado. And also just looking at rain totals, that could be anywhere from about a quarter inch. That would probably be closer to the coast up to maybe one or two inches. So active weather pattern for the next maybe 36 hours or so. And then we get to breathe a sigh of relief and enjoy some cooler weather as we get into Thursday. This morning, everything pretty quiet in New Orleans. You can see it's a little bit hazy as we do have a bit of humidity. Our temperature right now 72 and you can see north of the lake and south. We're pretty much most of us in the lower 70s. Aside from Buras, where there is a bit of fog, visibility at Buras is down to about a mile or less. Winds are from the south. No surprise, it has been getting more humid and we have been looking at the moisture fueling showers and storms like we saw last night. Now, not a lot of rain yesterday kind of throughout the day, but of course we did have that downpour bringing a quick inch plus of rain to parts of south uh, coastal areas and then New Orleans. This morning we have a little rain way outside of our area north of Baton Rouge and that's along a stationary front and we will see whether that tracks into our area or not. For now, I think it will probably stay to the north North, and we may even see a more northward motion with the rain in general today. And just looking at, by the way, our severe risk for today, we are looking at a marginal risk to our north. We in Louisiana and coastal Mississippi are actually not included in the severe risk today. But if you go north toward Jackson or northern Louisiana, and then especially out toward Texas, there is a severe risk. Now we're going to look at the severe risk for Wednesday and note that there is that level four moderate risk for parts of northern Mississippi into Alabama. Probably going to be some tornadoes there. This is the kind of setup where there might be even some significant tornadoes, maybe EF uh, two or um, higher. The third level, that's a level up from where most of Louisiana is. That third level is toward Jackson, Mississippi, and really just north of us. But most of us in Louisiana, it, we tend as the low pressure is farther to our north to see lower rain chances here or lower severe risks usually with these systems here. And that's the case tomorrow. We are at a level two of five with those uh, threats that I talked about, but it would probably be isolated as opposed to widespread. So we'll be watching really closely tomorrow. 83 for the high today, lows tonight in the upper 60s to about 70. Our rain chance on Tuesday about 30%, but tomorrow for your St. Patrick's Day planner, note the increasing rain chance, especially for afternoon, just some scattered storms in the afternoon. And then most of the rain may be coming around eight o'clock or so. Let me show you with our model today at noon. Pretty quiet. We're getting into the lower 80s. A little bit breezy today, but you can see our models aren't bringing a lot of rain into our area. Most of it stays north today. Tomorrow morning starts quiet with maybe a couple of showers. This is 7 a.m. And look at noon. We start to see a little bit of scattered shower or storm activity, but not widespread just yet. Here's the bulk of the rain by about 8 p.m. or so tomorrow. Exact timing could change, and then the rain will be mostly gone by about maybe even midnight or 1 a.m. Wednesday night into Thursday. Then it gets beautiful, sunny, breezy cooler on Thursday and nice weather continues into the weekend. We'll watch that Wednesday setup closely and of course we'll keep you updated and we'll cover you through the day on Wednesday with that severe risk.